Boswell, Boswell Emergency Medical Education. Uh, how you doing? Uh, I'm going to do a little quick video for you for just a couple minutes. I just got some new information from the BCN about some questions about the live remote proctoring uh, exam. So, um, as you may have heard, um, starting February 1st, if you schedule your CE exam, you have the opportunity, the option to take it at home um, versus a test center. You don't have to do that, but it is an option. Does it cost any more? Does it cost any less? Um, I've recommended some people that may be an option for them to help reduce some test anxiety. I mean, getting a test in your own home might be a little more relaxing. I don't know about your home, <laughs> maybe. Um, but anyway, so it presented some unique things I was wondering and uh, wanted to reach out. Uh, I looked through the BCN's website about some of the stuff about the, they call LRP, Live Remote Proctoring, and find out about it. Um, there's a lot of good information on that. Um, the link is on my Facebook page here if you're seeing this. Um, if you're seeing this on YouTube, I'll try to have a link down below. Um, but you can still easily search for it. Just type BCN exams, and under the um, exam information, there'll be a lot of information there. But um, a couple things I couldn't find answers to that I actually reached out to them. They replied to me today. I'm going to pull the email up here on my screen here so I can refer to it. So if I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at my screen here. And um, they were very kind to actually address all four of my questions. So the first question I was really interested about because um, I've, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but when you go into the computerized exam, they will give you a piece of paper or a dry erase board and you can write whatever you want on it. I've actually got a separate video that goes over some of the things I write down and I suggest for you, you might want to write down also as you start the exam because they kind of get that out of your mind and on the paper so when you come to a question about one of those things you already have the information there for an example i will always as i sit at the computer terminal draw a picture of my rule of nines for the adult and the pediatric patient because i can never remember those all right and honestly i was probably out in my car just before i walked in the test center memorizing those knowing i could put them on a piece of paper as soon as i sat down in the test cubicle so those write down things i was wondering well if you're doing it at home I mean, I know there's test security and all that. Um, how would they know, you know, what you're writing down or whatever? And then how would that work? Because if you, even if they, even if they, you showed them two, a blank piece of paper before the test on the camera, um, saying it was blank and you're writing stuff down during the test, how would they know what you do with it at the end? So I got a good answer. They, BCN has told me that you may use two sheets of blank paper during the exam. All right. And then after the exam is done, you will be required, I don't know how you do this, but you'll be required to show them you destroying this information. So I guess wadding it up doesn't really count. Um, I doubt you're gonna light it on fire in front of the camera. Um, they may have, I guess they may have you tear it up thoroughly. I don't know. Um, they didn't, she didn't say like you have to have like a paper shredder in your bio sign. So they will witness you destroy that. So you can't bring information out of the exam. Okay, so good answer. So good to know. And I think it's reassuring for a lot of candidates to know you can still do that as far as those write down things, which again, for me, it really helps and de-stresses me when I take this test. All right, the other thing I asked about was um, in their wording of the exam rules, it says you should not have pets or kids or distractions. And I asked them, I said, what well, does the word should mean shall? The word shall means you will not have pets or distractions. So I didn't know, like, you know, if the random occasional dog running through the your testing area is going to, you know, suddenly shut down the test and you're done. And they, they, they fire you. <laughs> You've been fired. Um, so what she said was, it is expected that exams are taken in a room without distractions and interruptions. There are major violations associated with any communication with someone else in the room. So I guess that could be like your kid. If they walk through the room and you holler, hey, Johnny, get back in your bedroom, go back to the, gate, the PlayStation, that would be any communication. Although it's not obviously an exam information cheating thing, she specifically from the BCN, she's actually one of the board specialists, says any communication with someone. So I would take that and definitely make sure the kids are locked up. <laughs> yeah, we'll call Child and Family Services after that, <laughs> locking their kids up in the bathroom. You know what I mean. So do not talk to me. Um, uh, it doesn't say anything about the pets specifically. I, what if you talk to your dog? Uh, hey, hey, Charlie, what's the answer to 13? <laughs> if your dog knows, the dog is going to be certified. Um, she goes on to describe there are major violations and there's minor violations. Okay, A major violation is 
any communication and the exam was shut down, they'd actually kick you offline immediately. Minor, vac minor, vi minor violations would be an example of if you're out of view of the camera momentarily. So let's say you got to bend down and scratch your toe like this. Momentary, minor violation. They're not going to turn you off right away, but they're tracking that. If that happens repeatedly, that does add up to a major. She didn't tell me how many minors make a major, but she says it escalates quickly. Okay. Or she also says a minor violation is looking somewhere else. Okay. Now, obviously, you're not looking at the camera. You're looking at the computer screen, taking your test and your keyboard, maybe your notes here. Okay. Uh, the proctor will be in front of you on camera and they'll see you. So obviously, you have to look down. What they're talking about is, let's say you're doing like this. You say you're my exam proctor. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at the screen. I'm doing my stuff here on the keyboard. And then I go like this. Okay. That's an obvious minor violation. Okay. Yes, you will have scanned the room with the camera beforehand. Make sure there's not some posters or study aids up there. But again, if you, you know, they're looking for clues. Okay. Those kind of things. Um, so you definitely want to, you definitely don't want to have those distractions. Okay. Definitely make sure that room is clear and free of anything. You know, they'll give, again, those minor things, um, they'll give you one or two maybe, but try not even to do that. Let's not risk it, okay? Because if this is your, you know, now maybe this is going to be more stressful for you with these specific rules. I don't know. Um, I'm going to do mine in the next uh, three or four months. I'm going to do it from home and see how it goes kind of thing. Uh, two more questions I asked them. One was bathroom breaks. So at the test centers, you can get up and take a break whenever you want. Okay, hang on. I lost my video feed here. Make sure I'm still online. Um, you just tell the exam, you raise your hand, they come into the test room, and you say, I'm going to use the restroom. They say, okay, I think they actually turn your screen off, um, and then you go use the restroom, okay? Now, your time still continues to run, your three-hour limit, so don't go in there forever. Um, unless you're pulling your hair out, oh my gosh. Um, there's not the issue of cheating in that scenario because their public restrooms are, I guess, inspected. They're very sterile looking. You know, there's hardly any accoutrements in there. And you've locked up all your stuff in a locker. So at home, I was thinking, not that people would cheat, but I don't want the potential for someone to perceive cheating and then the proctor cut the exam off. So her read, her wording was, I'll read this directly, um, breaks must be requested. So somehow you either tell the proctor or maybe there's a button you push or something, okay? Um, you don't need to say why you're going to the bathroom because I recommend you go every 30, 40 minutes, put some water on your face, refresh, deep breath. All right. Um, so you have to request a break. Um, there's a button on the screen and it will lock. Um, it will click. You'll contact the proctor and let them know you want to take a break. The time does not stop and no more than 15 minutes. Okay. After a break, the test um, proctor will ask you to scan the room again with the camera. All right, and you'll make sure you like, didn't like bring something in with you, like you had a study book in the bathroom, you brought it down to the testing area, you know, kind of under the under your hip or something. I don't know. Um, and it just says they are trained to watch for behavior before and after breaks that are indicative of cheating. Okay, so let's say you come walking back from the bathroom, you're sitting out the camera, and you're going. That might be suspicious that you went in the bathroom and like memorized something or tried to remember something, okay? Or I don't know, but just be yourself, okay? Obviously, if you're stressed and anxious, these proctors, they're professional people. They're going to excuse you for being stressed and anxious, okay? So if you're like, you know, you know, sitting rubbing your head, you know, oh my gosh, you know, I gotta go to the bathroom, you know. So that's the answer. They know what to watch for, okay? So don't try anything. Um, and the last question I asked him is, are the questions for the live remote test the same data bank, the same question bank as the actual computerized test? The answer was yes. Okay. So you're not going to get any benefit or change between the two. Um, in other words, if, you, you know, if you're taking your at-home test and someone's at the computer center taking their in-person test at you know, the same time, it's the same question data bank. I mean, you can still get different questions, but they're coming from that same pool of questions. Okay. So just quick summary. Um, you, you, you will be able to use some blank paper during the exam. You'll have to show them it's blank before the test, and you'll have to show them you're destroying it as you finish the test. Uh, two, minimize any distractions. Okay, there's major violations. There's minor. Major is any communication to another person. So definitely make sure those kids are secured. Maybe they're at daycare or something like that. Um, make sure the animals are secured too. Um, watch what you're doing. Definitely make sure, you know, because in my office here, if I were to do it right here at my desk, 
man, I got all kinds of stuff here, pictures of the, the nephews, um, this thing, that thing. Not that there's anything cheating. There's so much eye distraction that I wouldn't want to sit here and be, you know, I'm really thinking about this test question. I'm thinking about it, and okay, I'm kind of like, hmm, see what I'm doing? I'm like, hmm, I, I mean, that honestly could be me just thinking about a question. But to the proctor, that might look like, okay, they're reading a list up there on the wall. So minimize those distractions. Uh, number three, you can take a break. There's a procedure for it. Um, and definitely make sure you just be yourself. Um, if you're stressed or whatever, just calm down so they don't think you're doing something funky or whatever. But you can still take those breaks, and I recommend doing them. And then four, the question data bank is the same as the in-person one. So hopefully those things help you. There were questions I had. I'll be sharing them with my Flex students also uh, for their benefit and hopefully decre decrease some stress for them. Uh, a couple questions here while I was broadcasting to see them. Oh, just some side comments. Okay, they're waving hi. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of here. I actually got another session to do in a couple hours, and i got to go do a few errands, but I hope that helps. Um, feel free, this video will be posted. If you got any you know, questions that related to this, I'll be happy to investigate and find out and share with everybody if it helps you. Y'all stay safe. Be well.